So now we have the syntax we need to prove the negative case that if the user types in something in the input box that is not a number, we can detect it. So let's implement this in the dice game. I'm going to get another copy of the starter code and put the basic dice game inside. Generally speaking, when I write a conditional, what I want is to put the negative case towards the top and the positive case towards the bottom. So that means that I'm going to detect if something's wrong, if the input is incorrect, and then later on down at the bottom, I'll have the part of the code uh, that deals with the case that the input is correct, so it is a number. So here I'm gonna say uh, if the user didn't enter a number, um, then I'm going to use indentation to stand in for what happens um, when this condition is true. So um, message the user they have to give a number. And the positive case is um, otherwise play the game. So now let's implement this uh, JavaScript syntax for the condition here. I said that I wanted to test um, is NAN, and I'm testing if the conversion of input um, is NAN or not. So if this is true, then it is not a number and the input is invalid. So I'm gonna write my if condition here. And what I want is to um, set the value of my output value so that the message appears in the gray box. And then one other thing is that here I want to be able to use a slightly different arrangement of conditional syntax. Uh, that's because this uh, condition is that I either want to set this output value or I want to run the dice game. So this is the same construction of if else that we had before. So uh, I want to also put my dice game uh, code inside of a block. So either the input is invalid and it's not a number, or it is a number and we can run the dice game. The only other problem with this is that I'm defining my output value on line 25. So here I'm creating this value. It's possible that if the user has not entered a number that it's going to run line 20, but there's only one place in my code right now where I create the variable, and that's inside the other condition. So I need to move this creation of the variable to another place. I'm gonna move it uh, right to the top. Now here I'm doing something slightly different which is that the default value of my output value is blank. There's nothing inside it. And I'm okay with leaving it this way because my condition says either do this thing or do this thing. And one of them in my code is guaranteed to happen. Uh, so in both cases, I'm assigning the value of my output value. 
So I know that when I get to the end of my function that I will have something, I will have some words inside of this output. So let's save this and try it in the browser. Now I'm going to test my conditional. I wanna see if I type in a word that it's going to detect that I typed in a word. And then I also wanna check the other case, which is that if I do type in a number, then it still says that it still accepts my input. 